Somebody called earlier and said, uh, is the change in pH in the Arctic going to mobilize the carbon, the methane there? And I said, uh, I don't think so, because I don't think the methane is uh, pH responsive. You know, I don't think it responds, I don't think methane clathrates respond to relatively small changes in pH and in acidity or alkalinity. But what does respond to small changes in acidity are uh, theropods, are these little tiny animals that have an exoskeleton, an external skeleton um, that are like little tiny shrimps. And uh, in fact, <laughs> you know, you can buy them. They're called sea monkeys. Seriously, those, those sea monkeys, that's, 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 that's the bottom of the food chain, right? These little tiny shrimp things. So here's this article. This is from the uh, Toronto Star. Arguably, I think it's the number one paper in Canada. I'm, I'm, I'll probably be corrected by six different Canadians in the next 30 seconds. But uh, it, in any case, the Toronto, I've read the Toronto Star. Um, it's, it's a good, solid newspaper. And the headline is, World's First Large-Scale Area of Acidified Water Found in, drumroll, the Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean is warming six times faster than the rest of the planet right now. This should scare the hell out of all of us. And Donald Trump is taking, and his administration filled with billionaires and petrobillionaires. I mean, you know, Wilbur Ross is Commerce Secretary, Rex Tillerson. I don't know if Rex Tillerson is a billionaire. He's certainly a multimillionaire. Uh, his uh, Secretary of State. Uh, and then you've got, of course, the, 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 the toadies, the stooges, the fully bought and paid for uh, front men for the, for the fossil fuel billionaires like, you know, Tom Price and, and Scott Pruitt and, and company who are, you know, hell-bent for leather to destroy our environment, to jack up the profits of the fossil fuel billionaires. So back to the story. This is by Bob Weber in the Toronto Star. Uh, the website is thestar.com, by the way, if you're looking for it. The headline, World's First Large-Scale Area of Acidified Water Found in the Arctic Ocean. Acidity in the area has increased twice as fast as any other body of water that's been measured and is now six times what it was 20 years ago. Scientists have found the first world's first large-scale area of acidified water in the open ocean in the seas of the Western Arctic. Yijun Chikai of the University of Delaware, co-author of a paper published in uh, the journal Nature Climate Change, which is a peer-reviewed, this is real science, he said, in other oceans, you may have a small part with low pH. That's more acidic. But the Arctic Ocean is the first one we've observed with a larger scale acidification. And then they add ocean acidification is related to increasing levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide. Water grows more acidic as it absorbs gas from the air. Uh, previous research has suggested the Arctic Ocean is acidifying faster than any other ocean on Earth. And they were able to map that change. They say the air area of acidified water is uh, north of 85 degrees latitude, and the pool is also deeper. It's now found as low as 250 meters, an increase of 100 meters. And this is just since they began the study in the mid-1990s. Richard Feely of the uh, National Ocean Oceanic, Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said that surprised everyone. This builds up very, very quickly over time. The scientists say the buildup is related to the disappearance of summer sea ice. The less ice cover, the longer water is exposed to the CO2-rich atmosphere and the more time there is to absorb the acidifying gas. And now what does this mean? Why should we care? In other waters, acidification has been shown to damage young shellfish and slow the development of tiny animals called theropods, which are at the base of the northern food web. Those effects are thought to be at least as significant in places such as the Canadian Basin as they are in more southern latitudes. Kai, the researcher, said it's a short food web in the Arctic. When your food web is not as complex, it's more vulnerable. This is a disaster in the making. Not necessarily for you and me, although it could be, but certainly for our children and grandchildren. But Donald Trump doesn't give a damn about that. He cares about the profits of the billionaires who are supporting him. It's just that simple.